Yo, what is up guys? So uh, we're back here today and uh, we're going to be installing a wearing on this uh, 1996 GTX 800. Um, the gap is, it's pretty a big sized gap in the, uh, on the clearance of the ring and the um, prop. So it definitely needs changed. It was a uh, a little sluggish on the lake, so I'm thinking that's the issue. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, get started by uh, pulling off this pump, and then uh, we'll see what to do from there. Let's get it. All right, so uh, once you remove this um, reverse cover thing, not sure exactly, it's just um, you gotta remove these two bolts. Uh, they look like this, you just gotta remove those. Um, one attaches to the um, turn nozzle, one attaches to the actual like um, reverse thing. Uh, then you just gotta remove these uh, four bolts, one, two, three, four. And now you can just go ahead and uh, start removing these. And then uh, the whole pump assembly will come off. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what it looks like. All right, so we have the uh, pump housing out here. Finally got it taken off. And uh, as you can see, there's a pretty um, significant gap on the uh, wiring. So I think that's definitely the problem. So uh, yeah, now we just gotta figure out how to uh, take it out. And we already have the new one in the freezer. So the new one should just slide right in with a little bit of force. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take this one out. All right, so uh, we just got this one taken out. Uh, not too bad. What I did was I just set it between these two, uh, all these boxes of stuff, and then uh, I just reached in from with the uh, flathead, and then just tapped it out from this um, from this side, and uh, just did that evenly all the way around, and then uh, yeah, then it came out. So yeah, this one's um, pretty trashed. So I'm pretty sure that was the problem. So uh, yeah, we have the other one in the freezer, like I said, and then uh, we'll go get it and then uh, throw it in. So let's do it. All right, so uh, as you saw, we got this uh, ring installed, the way ring. And uh, yeah, as you can see, there's not much of a gap at all. So that'll be really good. I'm sure it'll increase the performance a lot. Uh, just do, It does catch like a little bit, but uh, I'm sure that'll wear off the first time we start it. So that'll be fine. Um, but yeah, now we're ready to throw it back in the ski. All right, so uh, we just got the surface cleaned up, this uh, rim area, whatever you want to call it. And uh, now we're ready to just go ahead and uh, throw this seal on. So let's do it. All right, so uh, we just got the seal on. Now we're ready to uh, throw the pump on.
All right, so uh, as you can see, we got everything on thrown on. We got the uh, reverse um, cover. I don't know what that is called, so if anybody knows, uh, definitely leave it down in the comments. But uh, yeah, got everything thrown back together, and uh, yeah, it's good. Yo, thank you guys for watching. This is a wrap for today's video. Uh, yeah, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit it. Uh, we have a lot more videos coming. We got the uh, modded JS550 motor build, so that's gonna be pretty sweet. Um, might have to throw it on a like a uh, race cart frame, you know, like a shifter cart frame. I mean, that'd be pretty sweet. But uh, yeah, uh, all we got to do left is go and uh, try it out at the lake and uh, see how it does. I hope it, I'm hoping. Uh, it has a lot better performance and a lot better like get up. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching.